so another important topic in science that is uh, soluble some, some sub substances are soluble and sub substances are insoluble so the substance can be classified in this way which substances are soluble in water which substances are insoluble in water so the substances are classified okay which are the substances soluble in water which are the substances insoluble in water so soluble and insoluble soluble and insoluble some substances are soluble and substances are insoluble so what are the which are the substances that are soluble in water which are insoluble in water that we can check in our textbook there is given some samples of solid substances first we can check samples of solid substances solid substances solid substance you have to check which substances are which soluble substances are soluble and which solid substances are insoluble in water so here it is given some samples okay salt sugar sand chalk powder and sawdust so we, these are the solid substances and we have to check that they which are soluble and which are insoluble so we, uh, we can check we can uh, do the some experiments with these substances first we can take uh, here it is uh, here it is available that is salt okay salt so i am doing some few what uh, three materials three substances to check uh, whether the substances are Uh, soluble and other substances are insoluble as salt okay another it is uh, what uh, is given chalk powder chalk powder another here is iron iron powder okay. iron powder you can check with the sand you can check with the sawdust you can check with the sugar so i am doing here with uh, that uh, only three substances remaining you can do okay so first we can take salt so take some samples of salt and uh, we have to take uh, some water in a beaker and uh, we have to put we have to put uh, some salt in this water using a spoon in this water okay and we have to dissolve it salt and we have to dissolve it by stirring it by stirring okay so after stirring you can see that whether the salt is soluble or not soluble so you can see that here the salt is what dissolved salt is dissolved disappeared dissolved means disappeared so here the salt the substance salt is soluble in water okay soluble in water so here no or otherwise we can that uh, the salt is dissolved in water salt is dissolved in water dissolved means uh, disappeared disappeared in water so salt salt is a uh, what uh, soluble in water salt is soluble in water soluble in water soluble in water or otherwise salt is dissolved disappeared 
in water when we are uh, after we stir so next we can do with the next ex, uh, experiment with the chalk powder here it is some chalk powder is available so we can do the experiment with the chalk powder okay few chalk powder and we have to stir it okay we have to take a little amount of water chalk powder and we have to stir it well and what will happen after a few times after a few minutes you can see that the chalk powder chalk powder all the chalk powder are is settled settled down they did not or they are not disappeared they are not disappeared in water but they settled down the bottle settled down the bottle or settled down the water so here the chalk powder settled down and the chalk powder did not dissolve in water so the chalk powder is not soluble in water chalk powder is insoluble in water chalk powder is insoluble in water after stirring we have to keep the bottle keep the beaker for some times undisturbed undisturbed so after some times we can see that the chalk powder or the chalk powder are settled down okay the chalk powder is not disappeared okay so we can see, we can say that chalk powder is insoluble in water is insoluble in water so uh, chalk powder is water insoluble in water so we can write chalk powder is insoluble in water insoluble in water other is that iron powder iron powder okay you have to take a, uh, some water and uh, in a beaker and we have to put some iron fillings or iron powder in the beaker so what will happen that we can check okay this iron powder water did not uh, dissolve in iron fillings iron fillings iron powder is not uh, dissolved is not uh, disappeared in the water so the iron fillings or iron powder is insoluble in water and filling is insoluble in water after stirring for long time the iron fillings dissolve iron fillings or iron powder did not uh, dissolve iron powder did not uh, dissolve okay so the all iron powder are what uh, this uh, what, uh, settled down settled down the water so settled down the bottle or settled down at the bottom of the bottle so if you are stirring so many times the iron fillings will not disappear will not disappear so iron fillings here is not disappeared so that iron filling is insoluble in water iron filling is insoluble or iron powder is insoluble in water is uh, insoluble in water. we can check with the sand so when you are checking with sand sand is also insoluble in water sand is also insoluble in water and we can check with the uh, what uh, sugar sugar is soluble in water sugar is soluble in water sugar what uh, soluble we can check with sawdust sawdust so that is insoluble in water insoluble in water so that is 
insoluble in water. So, these substances can be classified into soluble and insoluble. Here, salt, uh, sugar are soluble. Salt and sugar are soluble. Other chalk powder, iron powder, sand, sawdust are insoluble. Salt and sugar are soluble. Others are chalk powder, iron filling, sand, sawdust are insoluble. So, this substance can be classified on this basis that is soluble or, or dissolving power, soluble or uh, insoluble. So, next we are doing with an experiment with here we are doing with an experiment what we are doing we are here we have done an experiment with solid substance next we have to do with the liquid substance liquid substance whether some liquids which are the liquids which are uh, dissolved in water which are soluble in water which are insoluble in water so that we can do uh, that uh, next experiment